Hi children, welcome back to English class. I'm Sabida Joseph, your English teacher. Children, I hope you all are safe and healthy and I hope you all are studying well. Is it? Very good. Children, let us start a new lesson from our grammar book. Term 2, lesson 1, adverb. It is in your textbook, page number 94. Okay. Children, how many of you know what adverb is? Maybe some of you learn adverbs from your lower class. In short, what is adverb? Adverbs modifies a verb or an action word. Adverb modifies a verb or an action word. So today, let us learn more about adverbs. Okay, let us start today's class. Children, here you can see a sentence. That is, sit here. If I ask the question, were the answer is here sit here were to sit sit here i got the answer see the next one harith will come tomorrow if i ask the question when is he coming i got the answer that is tomorrow i got the answer for the question when see the next one he can do it well. If I ask a question, how? How he can do it? The answer is here. He can do it well. So I got the answer for the question, how? See the next one. I often visit my uncle. If I ask a question, how often? I got the answer for the question that is, I often visit my uncle. See the next one. It is extremely cold. If I ask the question, how cold? I got the answer. It is extremely cold. In the above sentences, here, tomorrow, well, often, extremely are adverbs. The word that answers the question is called adverb. Children, here we ask some question, isn't it? Where, when, how, how often, how cold. So, we got some answer for this question, isn't it? See the first one. Sit here. There we ask the question where. There we got the answer. Here. And in the second one, Harith will come tomorrow. There we ask the question when and we got the answer tomorrow in the third one he can do it well we asked the question how and we got the answer he can do it well like that we got answer for some questions see children the word that answered the question is called adverb it describes the action word or verb so children, what do you understood? Adverbs tell something about the verb or an adjective or any other adverb. Okay, it always tells something about the main verb or about an adjective or any other adverb. Now let us do an exercise from your textbook page number 94. Fill in the blanks with suitable adverb. Fill in the blanks with suitable adverb. Adverbs. Children, we learned that adverbs describes the action. In the below sentences, you can see actions and we have to match them with suitable adverb. See the first one. Write this. You can match it with suitable adverb given in the right side of the screen. There are some adverbs are given. You can choose the suitable one. Write this neatly. Second one, we reached school late. You must listen carefully. My mother speaks politely. The boy went hurriedly. They went slowly. The parents answered them softly. 
the principal welcomed the parents warmly we get this magazine monthly the gatekeeper comes to school sincerely see children here we matched these sentences with suitable adverbs each adverbs describes the action isn't it see the first one write this neatly the adverb neatly describe the action write how to write yes neatly and the second one we reached the school late when you reach the school you reach the school late third one you must listen carefully yes how to listen carefully so these adverbs gives answer for some questions so children adverbs are used to give us more information about the verb or the action word and the simplest way to recognize the adverb is the common ending that is ly for example happy happily Okay, and now let us do another exercise from your textbook, page number ninety-five. Change the given words into adverbs. Okay, so here you can see on the left side of the screen some words are given, and right side adverbs. You have to write the adverbs of the word. Okay, see the first word able. What is the adverb of the word able? It is ably. Next one, angry. It is already given. What is the adverb of angry? It is angrily. Next word, firm. What is the adverb of the word firm? It is firmly. Next word is thankful. What is the adverb of the word thankful? It is thankfully. Next word is month. What is the adverb of the word month? It is monthly. Next word is true. The adverb of the word true is already given. That is truly. Next word our. What is the adverb of the word hour? It is hourly. Next word is fixed. The adverb of the word fixed is already given. It is fixedly. Next word is hurried. What is the adverb of the word hurried? It is hurriedly. Next word knowing. What is the adverb of the word knowing? It is knowingly. Next word, active. What is the adverb of the word active? Do you know that? Yes, actively. Next word is calm. What is the adverb of the word calm? It is calmly. Next word, ready. What is the adverb of the word ready? It is readily. Next word is day. What is the adverb of the word day? It is simple one. Yes, daily. Next word, year. What is the adverb of the word year? Yes, it is yearly. So children, find of the adverb of the next five words in your textbook. You can see. Most of the adverbs are ended with the letter L Y. Okay, so you can easily identify the adverbs by seeing this. Children, we know what is an adverb. Okay, it modifies a verb, but understand that it always comes just before the main verb, or it comes after the auxiliary verb, such as. Has, have, may, might, be, must, etc. Children, these are the helping verbs or auxiliary verbs in English. 
This will be attached in the Google Classroom. Adverbs usually comes after such helping verbs or auxiliary verbs. Okay, so it comes just before the main verb and comes after the auxiliary verb or helping verb. Let us do an exercise from your textbook, page number 94 and you will understand it. Okay, C. Insert the adverb in the correct place. So you have to insert the adverbs which is given in the bracket in the correct place of the sentence. Let us do the first one. They play football in the school. They play football in the school. Here you can see the verb. What is the verb in the sentence? Play. Yes, that is the verb. That is the action word. So, we can add this adverb just before the action word. They sometimes play football in the school. See the second one. He has completed the answer. Children, what is the action verb or verb in this sentence? Yes, that is completed. Can you see any auxiliary verb or helping verb? Yes, has. We learned we add adverb in a sentence after the auxiliary verb or helping verb and just before the main verb. Here the main verb is completed. Auxiliary verb is has. So we can use the adverb just after the auxiliary verb. So the sentence will be he has just completed the answer. See the third one. She has tried to draw it. Here you can see the auxiliary verb. What is it? Has. Yes, we have to use adverb after the auxiliary verb in a sentence. So we can write this as she has often tried to draw it. She has often tried to draw it. See the fourth one. I have been late for school. I have been late for school. Here, what is the auxiliary verb given here? Have been. Yes. And you can see the verb late. So, we use adverb after the auxiliary verb and just before the main verb. So, we can write like this. I have been never late for school. See the fifth one. He plays golf. Here you can see the adverb given in the bracket is seldom. The action word in the sentence is plays. We use adverb just before the action word or main verb. So how you can write it? He seldom plays golf. Very good. So children understand adverbs. It always comes after the auxiliary verb or helping verb. And just before the main verb of a sentence. So complete this exercise in your textbook and study well. Children, I hope you all understood adverb. Okay, what is adverb? It modifies the verb and it describes the way an action is happening. How it is happened, when it is happened. Okay, so that is adverb. So children, I hope you all started working for the project. As you know, you have to write the conversation and for that you can include the climate uh, changes in both Kerala and Himachal Pradesh. Children, March is the hottest month in Kerala, but June is the hottest month in Himachal Pradesh. And June is the coldest month in Kerala, but January is the coldest month in Himachal Pradesh. Children, like that you can compare in both states according to their climate you can include all these things into your telephone conversation okay children complete the textual exercise and do the homework okay we'll meet next day with a new topic until then take care and bye